In this lesson, we're going to take a look at glomerular filtration rate. The first thing I'm sure you're asking yourself is what the heck is glomerular filtration rate? Well, it's a lab test and we use it to uh, look at different types of kidney function or kidney dysfunction. And the thing that you need to recognize is that there are, it's based on time. It's, a, it's actually a rate and it's based on time because we're looking at how well um, in terms of efficiency that the glomerulus filters out um, the blood. And so a normal uh, GFR, we're going to call it GFR, is 90 to 120 mils per minute per 1.73 meters square of body mass. Um, fancy, fancy formula, but this is what you need to look at right here is this number, 90 to 120. This number is based on uh, some factors like age, race, gender, um, and body weight. But what it is, is it looks at a kidney dysfunction, kidney function, and it can help be a predictor of a future kidney dysfunction. So let's take a look a little bit more into how it all works. Well, this is the uh, glomerulus. And uh, what you can see is that you've got blood flow coming in through the afferent arterial, and then you have the efferent arterial. Arterial. Here. So blood goes in and then blood comes out this way. So this is the first stage in filtration and blood comes in and it's filtered out to the glomerulus and it gets all that waste product out and it goes down this way to the kidneys. So the kidneys are that way. Kidney. They're that way. So blood comes in, filters out, goes towards the kidneys. Well, if you have damage to the glomeruli, what ends up happening is that you have this, the, the all the waste products aren't being filtered out. So you have a decrease in glomerular filtration. You have this increased waste in, in blood. So you'll see elevations in the BUN um, and the creatinine. Glomeruli are the first stage of filtration. So if we see that there's some sort of damage or injury to uh, the glomeruli, we can actually make uh, future assessments about kidney injuries or disease, current injuries or disease, uh, and, the, and like the current uh, state or status of the kidneys and how well they're working. So how are we going to send this lab off? Well, we're going to send it off in serum. So this is can be done with your green top tubes and they can spin down your lavender top tubes or they can they have these uh, red top tubes. So there's like this gel here and I'll actually separate and the gel, the red blood cells are denser than the gel. So you actually get this level of red blood cells. You'll get this gel up top and then you'll get the serum and they'll actually pull this this value off right or this this sample off here and they'll actually test that. Now you're going to send these with other labs. You're going to send these with your renal labs or your chemistries. You may even send something called a creatinine clearance. And uh, with a creatinine clearance, you're going to need a 24-hour urine. And if you go to the creatinine lesson, there's uh, more specifics on it. But there are three things that you need to know about your, your creatinine clearance. Number one, it's a 24-hour urine. Um, it is, needs to be put on ice. And the last thing is you need to make sure your patient voids. And then you discard that sample and then you start collecting. So you always want to get rid of that first sample. Um, that's the first thing you do is you toss that first sample, uh, you get rid of it, and then you start collecting all of the urine after that. And that's going to account for your 24 hour urine. So what does an abnormal GFR mean? Well, you've got your normal GFR, which is 90 to 120 mils per minute. 1.73 meters squared body mass. Well, if you have an increased GFR, meaning that it's greater than 120 mils, it's normally okay. However, you want to pay attention to this guy, to this albumin. If you have an increased GFR and you have some albumin loss, you need to, that's going to indicate some sort of renal, renal damage. This is a rare, 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 rare occurrence, but it can happen. So if you ever get an elevated GFR, just take a peek at your albumin. If your albumin is normal, move along. But this is what you're worried about. You're worried about your, we're paying more attention to that decreased GFR. And the thing about the, the, the GFR is depending on what rate the, the GFR is filtering, it tells us kind of a percentage. So here's a rule of thumb. Anything greater than 90 is normal. It's basically one mil per minute equals one percentage. Anything greater than 90 means at least 90% of the kidney is functioning. So if you have, let's say you have a GFR of 60, 
that means 60% is working. Let's go down to 15. Let's say you have 15. Your GFR for your patient is 15 mils per minute. Hey, that means that only 15% of that uh, kidney is working. So uh, it's a really broad rule of thumb, but it's just kind of something to it gives you an idea into what's going on with your patients. Uh, but what you need to do is you need to talk to your providers about what their goals are when you're talking about your GFR. And um, it also depends on how chronic their disease is. So things that'll cause a decreased GFR, you've got uh, kidney disease. So injury to the glomerulus. So this is the thing about the glomerulus. It doesn't happen in any other organ. So this is where you're going to you're going to take a look at that guy. Um, also, if you have damage to the nephrons or the uh, glomeruli, it could be indicative of something like an acute kidney injury, uh, long term kidney damage, like chronic kidney disease. That's going to affect your GFR. If you have toxicity, diabetes or even hypertension, all of these will decrease your GFR. When we're talking about GFR, we're looking at these lab values and also about elimination because we're looking at our kidneys. So let's recap. Normal values for the GFR are going to be 90 to 120 mils per minute per 1.73 meters squared of body mass. Again, this is what you're paying attention to is at 9 to 120. Remember, GFR is specific to the kidneys. Nothing else is going to uh, influence it because the, the glomeruli and the glomerulus is specifically in the kidneys. Increased GFR. Uh, normal in most circumstances, occasionally very, very rare cases where you actually have the decrease in the albumin. So take a look at your albumin if you notice your GFR is pretty high. Uh, decreased GFR is going to help you uh, evaluate how well your kidneys are functioning. The lower the rate, the worse the kidney damage. And it is an essential renal value. It is specific to kidney function, just like with your BUN and creatinine. You need to take a look at your kidneys when you see uh, this value show up. So that's it for our lesson on GFR. Make sure you check out all the resources attached to this lesson. Now go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing.